Hi guys, it's me. So today we're going to do some of these really pretty um, hearts that I did with ink. Um, so we're going to use the ink or spray inks a little differently. So I'm going to use my Deco Arts Americana um, Misters, um, which is like spray ink. These have really beautiful um, colors and they're very pigmented. And the great thing about these is that they do not move like other spray inks. So that's what we're going to use. I have a collection of a few colors. So I have Deco Arts Media Misters Red, Deco Arts Medium Misters Primary Yellow, Deco Arts Medium Misters Primary Magenta, and Deco Arts Medium Misters Red also. And then, yeah, and then we'll kind of see. I also have white too. So let's kind of see how this goes. <laughs> Ready. So I don't think that I'm going to actually spray them on the page. This is one that I did before with um, blue colors, blues and purples and all that stuff. So we'll turn the page on that one. And I might add a little bit of blue for contrast, but we'll see. So I'm working on um, this Canson um, watercolor paper. So it comes in a pad. I only have about two pages left. I have been filling this thing up, which is really nice. I like when I use my materials. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's... Um, I'm just going to give some of these a little shake and then I'm just working on a clear sheet protector nothing fancy I just need um, some place to be able to put my inks and then I'm just going to take a little bit out you could of course spray these um, and they spray very very well so we'll do a little bit of that and it's fun um, inks are like playing with watercolor but um, they're really fun. They're very versatile and the color is just absolutely beautiful. So I love playing with my materials, seeing how far I can stretch them and how many different uses I can get from them. So I'll do this one, two. So I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, today is Tuesday, the 9th for me. Um, I had a really great week, actually. It was really wonderful. Um, our Litton Talks ended at a church that I'm going to. So that's a little bit sad, because they've been just wonderful <laughs> this year. Very good. So last Sunday we talked about mercy, which is really beautiful. And we just have a wonderful presenter. He does such a wonderful job. So we'll definitely be missed but there are recordings so I get to enjoy those for a little while okay and hopefully God you know will help me remember some things <laughs> which he always does when I need them okay from those beautiful talks so we're just going to activate it with a little bit of water and then um, I have a cup here that I'm going to use just to um, work Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the shape of a heart with some water. So this would be a what on what technique. So I just have um, this brush here that I got from China. Um, it's a really nice brush. It holds a ton of water. I got it on eBay. And you won't be able to see this part probably, but it's there. I'm just making a simple shape of a flower of a heart, of a flower, of a heart, <laughs> okay, just like that, I'm thinking of flowers because it's spring, um, I have a big sister, my mentor, that I've talked about before, that lives in Steamboat, so she, they have a ton of snow up there still, but um, there was this place by their tree, and it had this beautiful bloom, just gorgeous, of a, I think it was like a tulip, it was so pretty, and it was just coming out of the snow, so <laughs> that's what I was looking at the, the, this morning, so definitely I'm in the mood for a beautiful spring, and we've had gorgeous weather here, so I'm just taking the ink, and I'm going to put it on the heart, just like that, and kind of let it bloom a little bit, okay, and I like to add a little bit of splatters, so we're going to splatter on there too, more. Let's grab some of this yellow. We can even mix a little bit of the yellow and the orange together. Give us another color. So next week I'm making Easter cookies, so that should be fun. <laughs> I've been buying all these really cute decorations, so that's fun. 
it's a tradition that we do. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And I teach um, religious education. So the, for, so before Easter, we always ha give the kids like a fun class where we, of course, explain what Easter is and why we celebrate it. Um, but also um, they get Easter baskets and we talk about um, like the symbolism of Easter, right? The Christian symbolism of Easter and the signs, like why there's a bunny rabbit and <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So it's really cool. So the, it's always a fun class. It's definitely one of my favorites. And it's always a surprise for the kids because they're like, what? We get an Easter basket? So it's fun. So that'll be fun. So I want to add a little bit more. I'm thinking here, maybe. Maybe I'll extend this out a little bit. And you can even go in with the other color and just stick it on there. I like that, actually. I think that's really pretty. We'll do that. I'm just going to go around it a little bit. Get a little bit bigger. And these are just fun, like, inky mixed-media hearts. Um, just to make, that are just really fun. I really love exploring wet materials. They're really fun to use. Okay, and then we're going to go in maybe with a little bit of this magenta because I think that I've lost a little bit of that. We'll go right into that wet. So I'm just taking my brush and just dotting it out. You could also do this with watercolors. I just wanted the color a little bit more saturated. So that's why. I think this has been the best lint <laughs> that I've ever had, so it's been really fun. So I'm very excited for Easter. <laughs> We're planning to do Midnight Mass, but I think they need people to help um, at the church, so that may or may not happen. <laughs> yes, or not, they, they call it Midnight Mass, but it really starts like at 8. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of funny so yeah. I did not know that I thought that it actually started at midnight so. very good very good okay I love that I think that's really pretty okay so let's see what I'm going to do next I love that I think that it's really really pretty um, I think maybe the next thing that I'm going to do is that I want to add a little bit of white. So I have this white mister here. And I'm going to go in and just, oops, if it will spray for me, which it won't, spray a little bit. Actually, you know what? We will use this one, which is like a silver color. And it's going to run a little bit, but that's okay. And then, of course, you know that, like, when you, if you actually spray your misters, what you need to do is turn them upside down, like that, okay? And then you spray them on something, like that. And then that will make it so that you can spray them again, okay? So, like, this white one I sprayed, and I don't think it will spray out anything else because it looks like it was having trouble, but we can try it. No, it won't. <laughs> but we could, could do that. But what we could do is let's just open the bottle here. Okay, I think that white will be pretty. I used to make Easter baskets for the kids in my family, but they're all kind of too big now. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh geez, why do children have to grow up? <laughs> you know, get to do well. I do get to make one for my little guy, for my little nephew. So that's true. I forgot. <laughs> How can I forget about that little guy? Oh, he is a mess. Oh my gosh, I'll have to tell you. Oh, he's so funny. Okay. 
So we'll do this and this. So I am just going to let this air dry. I'm not going to do anything to it. Um, I might pick up um, maybe some of those spots that uh, have a lot of water on them. And you can just like take a piece of paper, a, a paper towel or something. Sorry, a piece of paper, a paper towel. And um, you can just kind of blot it up a little bit. Just kind of interesting, maybe in some of the spots, just so it dries maybe a little bit quicker. But I'm going to see you guys in a second after this dries. I'll be right back. Guys, so I forgot the <laughs> part that I did in my other one. So this is just a skewer. And I am just going to, on some of these parts, I'm just going to bring some of um, the ink out. So here I'm doing just like little circles, just like that. And then like here, maybe I'll do like scallop things, <laughs> scallop thingy majigglers, and maybe we'll do some on the other side too. I forgot that I had done that before. It's kind of why I wanted those juicy parts. <laughs> That's okay. If you forgot to, you can just do it with a pen. But I thought, since it's a little bit juicy, maybe I can do it. Just like that. like that okay so now we'll let it dry <laughs> okay guys so it's fully dry so now we can doodle a little bit on it so I was eating sunflower seeds bad <laughs> okay so we are going to add um, some lines and like some doodles and dots and all of that fun stuff so maybe I'll start with this one this is just a metallic um, permanent marker so I'm gonna go ahead in there and I think I'm gonna do just like little dashes there and just a few spots. Right. And maybe with this one, we'll just add some circles. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but there's a little bit of circles. Let me bring it in a little bit more. Circles, circles, circles. Use some down here. And I like to do things in odd numbers, so. And this is my black pen. Maybe with this one I will. I'm thinking that for this one I'm going to do like dashes. I was going to do like a scribbly. inside but I think maybe I'll just do I'll just outline the inside with some dashes just like that so I had a good class this week and I actually sold a piece of art on Sunday <laughs> which is great I sold this cute little peacock mixed media canvas so that's always fun it's always nice when you sell your art to someone that really loves it. So that's very helpful. Uh, let's see, maybe here I'm just going to add a few little scribblies. Maybe some here. And maybe up here. I'll just add a little bit into that. All right. And then I think I'm just going to just loosely outline this flower, this part. And I want this to be really messy. I 
that achieved that. And then maybe with this one, I will just gonna highlight some of those little like marks that I made, the scallops and such. <laughs> Do some dots. I love dots. <laughs> Especially with my pretty metallic ones. Um, those are fun. Add a few there, maybe. In here. And I'm not overthinking this. I'm just putting stuff where I want it to go. <laughs> so, definitely not a process that you need to overthink it. We're just having fun and making some marks so nothing too crazy and i will know when to stop when i love it let's see here maybe let's add a few little like lines here with the gold this is a jelly roll i like jelly rolls i love pins though i've always been obsessed with pins <laughs> i really like them they're fun to play with Pan. I don't know if this will show up, but maybe we can put some more some bigger circles that we can fill in. Put the little lines here too. A few little scribbling lines. This little guy. Um, maybe we'll fill in some of the scallops, just a few. I'm sorry if you can hear the construction. There's a lot of that going on in my neighborhood right now. Um, that's cool. Let's add a few little dashes here. And I think I need to add a little bit more black. Because I think we need a little bit more contrast. So. Do like maybe double circles. So what do you guys do for Easter? I'd love to hear if it's something that you celebrate. When I was a little girl, my aunt and my mom totally made a big deal out of Easter. So every year we would get a new dress for Easter. And they would always have like Easter egg hunts. And then we'd have this big dinner with like lamb and all this stuff. So... We don't do that a lot anymore. We probably will have, like, my aunt will usually have something at her house. Um, so she'll probably do that. But um, it's not as big as when I was little. <laughs> so, but it's a great memory to have. Let's see. So I'm going to put another set of those black circles. So I think I'm going to do it here. This looks a little blank to me over here. So we'll do our double circles. And I should probably stop because it's looking like crazy town, but I love it. And you can frame these. Um, you can scan them in your computer. Um, yeah, but they're just fun. Just fun little guys to use. And just have fun. I mean, it's about making like just a mixed media fun little thing. We used to have Easter egg hunts, and I am slow, slow. I never got a lot of eggs. <laughs> I'm not much of a computer, I think. Like, I don't really compete very well. It's 
So yeah, that's probably it. I'm kind of do-your-own-thing kind of person, <laughs> so, <laughs> but it was fun. But my cousins had a great time, and they would totally, like, count all their eggs and see who won, who got the most eggs. Just be like, okay, I got a few, it's good. <laughs> so it's funny. How we are. I'm, yeah, I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, so. But I'm okay with that. I wasn't for a lot of years, but I think you have to accept yourself. <laughs> and I am very awkward and all that stuff, but it's okay. Let's see. It used to bother me, but it doesn't anymore. I think all of us have our gifts. We have the way that we are, so. Okay, there we go. Too. Oh, I love this. I think that's really cool. Very, very nice. Okay, so what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else should we do? Let's see. I think maybe I'll add a few of these, like, little yellow things here. Because even though you can't see them, they are, like, indented in there. Can you see that? Like that little set there. So I do want to make a little bit there, like that. Just like that. Okay, and then I wonder if I should add a little bit of these circles too. Like again, with a pen they have this really interesting look to them. So we'll add a few of those and maybe some like up in here too. So really fun. Oh, I love that. Okay. I think that's it guys. Oh, I love it so much. And if you wanted to, like you could add something else. Let's see, maybe I have this gold pin here. Ooh, I have silver. I haven't actually used this. It's a woodless um, colored pencil that I got from on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So I've not tried it yet. I think I'll add a few more of those down there maybe. Like those grains. Just gonna outline around it. Just like that. I love that. Alrighty, anything else? I think that that's good. I think I love it. <laughs> it's fun when you love your art. I could add a little bit more black though. Maybe I'll add it. Maybe I'll just add it like around a little bit. Just make some loop de loops. So this week is Palm Sunday, and I can never like um, make those beautiful crosses. <laughs> Mine are always like a little bit lopsided, so. <laughs> But I try every year. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's funny. So that would be fun. It's always a nice celebration. There we go. Oh, I love that. Very nice. I'm thinking that I want to add one more thing. Let's see. Do I have any gold paint or goat-ish color out here? Normally do not do this, but when creative re creativity strikes you must listen, right? So I'm just getting a piece of scrap paper. Sorry that you can hear all the crazy noise. And I have a bottle cap here. I'll just use that. And this is the only like thing that I have that's actually close to me that I think will work. So oops, oh that was too much. I hate when I had too much slip, but I did. Too much, too much, too much. But that's okay, I'll use it for something else. So we're going to go ahead and just dip the cap right into our thing here.
Well, I was trying to do that. It didn't work very well. <laughs> so what we'll do maybe is, let's try this little bottle cap. I think I need something that's a little bit better. <laughs> very good. That's what I'm going for. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to be able to see the circles a little bit better. Perfect. Love that. Just because I think it looks interesting. So we'll do that. It's probably a little bit too busy, but that's okay. I like it. Okay. And let's maybe, since we have a lot of this gold paint that I like flicked all over the place or bronze color, let's just go ahead and do some splatters. Because splatters make me happy. Just like that. So I love that. So I'm just going to let that dry. And that's it, guys. I mean, it's really fun. You don't have to add the acrylic paint. You could just do your spray inks. Um, but I really love how these turn out. They're really fun to make and um, very, very easy and great. And actually, I think, I wonder if I put one here. Ooh, I like that. Maybe we'll do like three there just to incorporate it. Perfect. I like that. Okay. So now I'm done. I promise. <laughs> so you can make these. They're super duper fun. Um, just a really relaxing way to spend a few hours. And that's the one that I did from before. So that has lots of doodles. I didn't use any paint on that one, but I just did the exact same process. So really fun. Very, very easy. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll probably be doing more of these for the channel because they're so much fun. And I will see you later. Thank you for spending some time with me and letting me blab. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.